Hello everyone, Sean from TaekwondoShawn.com here and today we're going in depth, step by step, follow along, Pumse number one. Check it out. Alright, so welcome. Today we're going to take apart our yellow belt Pumse in our school. Some schools it's white belts, some schools it's other belts, but the most basic internationally recognized Taekwondo Pumse, Taegak Ilcha, Pumse number one. So let's get into it. All right, so let's start by practicing all the upper body techniques one by one, step by step, doing the whole pumse, just the upper body. So let's do them together. This pumse involves high blocks, middle blocks, and down blocks. This pumse also involves straight punches or punches to the solar plexus. All right, so let's start. When we do this pumse, we're going to be going turning different ways, but for the sake of practicing just the upper body, what we're going to do is we're going to stay in the same spot. All right, so you can follow along with me. So we start in the chariot stance, the attention stance, and then chumbi, move your left foot. Ready? So the first motion, down block with your left arm. Then punch with your right. Turn, down block with right arm. And punch with left. Then we turn towards the front, we perform a down block with your left, and a punch with your right. So that's the first six motions. This will be considered the first chunk as we talked about in a previous video. So make sure you guys practice these six motions until they're crisp. Now for the second chunk, we're gonna turn right and middle block with our left arm and punch with our right. And then we spin around, middle block with our right arm and punch with our left. Then we turn towards the front, perform our down block and our punch. Good, all right, now we're beginning the final phase, the last six motions. Okay, so ready, we turn left, high block, kick and punch. Turn right, high block, kick and punch. Turn right, high block, kick and punch. Good, now the last two motions, down block with left, step forward, punch with right, and we key up. And paro, breathe in, and breathe out. And then shio, move your left foot in, and bow. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the opposite, the mirror, so that when I say left, you guys do left, and I'm gonna do left, but really it's gonna be my right. So let's try. Try it. To me. All right, so ready? Left hand down block, right hand punch. Right hand down block, left hand punch. Left hand down block, right hand punch. Mm -hmm. Then it's right hand middle block, left hand punch. Left hand middle block, right hand punch. Then it's gonna be right hand down block, left hand punch. Then high block with your right, or high block, <laughs> high block with your left hand, kick and punch with your left. High block with your left arm, kick and punch with your right. Left hand down block, front stance towards the back, and step forward punch. Paro. <sighs> that was hard. So, as we've talked about in previous videos, chunking is very important. So the first six motions, the second six motions, and then the third six motions, because there's a total of 18. So make sure you guys break it up while you're practicing. But for the sake of the video, we're gonna go through the whole thing. And that way we can understand it properly, okay? All right, so now that we've done the upper body motions, the blocks and the punches, let's go through it a couple more times together, step by step, all the 18 motions, and then we're gonna look at the lower body. Okay, so here we go, chumbi. Left, down block, right punch. Right down block, left punch. Left down block, right punch. Left middle block, right punch. Right middle block, left punch. Right down block, left punch. Left high block, kick, right punch. Right high block, kick, left punch. Left down block, right punch. Paro. All right, so now it's time for the lower body. So I'm gonna step back a little bit while we do this. So make sure you guys can see my feet. So when we're doing this pumse, it has a specific shape. All the take up pumse from one to eight all have the same shape. Okay, so let's do it together. I'm gonna put my hands on my back. Now I'm gonna turn left, touch with the balls of my left foot, and then pivot with my right. Then I step forward. Right foot forward. Now I'm gonna put my right foot behind and slightly on the right hand side, pivot on the balls of my feet. Step forward and punch. 
Then I'm gonna turn, pivoting only at the end with my right foot, so my ball of my left foot's down, pivot, and punch. Then I'm going to turn to the right, put my right foot in front, left foot pivot as I perform the upper body motion, step forward, and punch. Now turn, now notice how when I turn, I bring my feet together, and then my left foot is gonna go opposite side, slightly behind, so it's more on my left hand side, so when I pivot, I'm in a good walking stance, the apsagi, because I need it to be shoulder width apart. It can't just be a narrow stance. I need good balance. Practical martial arts involves balance. Then from here, we step forward and we punch. Good, now I'm gonna go into the front stance again, now with my right foot. As the balls of my feet go in the front here, I pivot my back foot as I perform my upper body motion and punch. And then I pull my left foot up, and I'm gonna pivot as I perform the high block, and then the lower body's gonna do the kick, so I need to make sure I drive my knee up, I can open up this supporting leg a little bit, maybe 45 degrees, I drive my knee up, extend, back, and down, and pivot as I perform the punch. Then I'm gonna turn by bringing my feet close together, and then out the other side, pivot, shoulder width apart, one foot in between, and then I'm gonna kick, punch, as I put my foot down, I pivot this foot back to going forward, and then I'm gonna to turn towards the back. I'm gonna make sure my left foot goes in front, and I'm gonna pivot as I step forward, punch, ah! And then the paro in this pumze, the finishing up motion, you wanna make it as smooth as possible. So ready, paro. And shio, bow. Move your left foot in, and bow. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice just the lower body, the first 18 motions, and remember, if you need to practice it motions by motions, like part by part, six motions at a time, then do it. But for the sake of the video, we're gonna go through all 18. So let's do the lower body one more time. Try it. Chumbi. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and then, and then, and then, all right, so now we're gonna try adding everything together. This time around, we're gonna go really slow and make sure we're doing the blocks at the right position, the stances at the right position, and everything looks good. Okay, so try it. Chumbi. Breathe in and breathe out. So ready, left, down block. Make sure, look down. Is my block two fists away from my leg? Is my stance one foot apart? Is my stance shoulder width apart? Widthwise, to make sure I have good balance. Step forward, bring my hand up to a neutral position, put my foot down, and punch. Then, as I set the down block, I bring my feet close together, other side, pivot. Step forward, punch. Turn, down block, and punch. Making sure my front stance is two and a half feet. Then, turn, start the middle block, and pivot. Looking down, make sure my stance is wide enough. Step forward and punch. Turn, pivot, and punch. Turn, pivot, and punch. And pivot. Notice my hands come to a neutral position when I punch. And then as I put the ball of my foot down, I'm set for the punch on my right hip and perform the block punch. And then the other side. Then set. Kick, punch. Then the last two motions, front stance. Good, make sure my block is two fists away from my leg, make sure my stance is wide enough, make sure it's two and a half feet long, and then step forward, punch. Good, make sure you're punching the solar plexus. Your shoulder can be out 30 degrees. My feet are all pointing forward, I'm bending my front knee enough. And then if you wanna get even more nitty gritty, try to pivot this knee, try to turn it, because that engages the muscles properly and it makes the stability of the stance that much better. So turn your knee outwards almost. And then, paro. Okay, so now we're gonna practice a couple of times, maybe with some cool music going on, and then you guys can follow along. And then, after a few times, we're gonna to start to make it full power, okay? So take your time, review the video as many times as you need, and let's all make Pumse number one better. Let's do it.
this Pumza, it's very important that we practice hard and make the motions confident enough that we're focusing on the little things because Pumza is really helping you to become a better person. It's not really gonna help you fight. In a real fighting situation, you wouldn't block and then punch, wouldn't be kick punch, but it's good for your health. It makes you healthier and stronger. It's good for your focus. It's good for your concentration. And then it's also good for your coordination and the small details. So when I'm pivoting my foot here, if I bring my feet close together, it's easier to go out the other side where I'll have a nice stance. And by focusing on 18 motions, that's more than 18 small details, then I can really improve my concentration. And then just like in the regular life, the way I live my life, if I focus on the details, then every day my day is gonna get better and better, the productivity is gonna go up, and then I'm gonna become a better version of myself every single day. And that's really what drew me to martial arts. I wanna be better every single day, because every day I live then, I get even better. All right, so now we're gonna do it full power, Pumza number one, follow along, and we'll make sure that everyone's doing Pumza number one better than they were yesterday. So when we're doing Pumze, it's important to know that every single motion has actually two parts, the set and the execution. So when you're performing a down block, you have the set and the execution. And then when you're performing the middle block, you have your set, you have one hand in front in a neutral position, and your other hand slightly above your shoulder, and then the execution. And then we have the high block, where your arm is on the inside, and your other arm, your blocking arm, is on the outside. Set and execute. And then the punch, we have a set arm, and then punching with the other for the execute. Kick is the same thing. You have a set and then kick. And then stances, we actually have a set as well. So let's say we're turning for the walking stance here. It's gonna be set, so the ball of my foot is touching the ground, but not my heel. And then as I pivot on the ball of my foot with my back leg, I'm going to set everything into my walking stance. So we have to get really good at setting and executing, but not just like a robot. So I can't just be set, execute, set, execute. It has to be smooth, almost like they can't see the set, but then the really experienced martial artists are gonna watch your pumps and say, oh, look at his setting, look at her setting. That's amazing, wow, this person's practiced a lot. So you wanna make sure that your pumse looks like that, but it's only if you practice very precisely, like a robot. So let's go through the pumse number one, another time. This time, we're gonna imagine setting and executing as a robot would, so step one, step two. Okay, here we go. Jumbi, I'll help you through it. So ready, move your left foot, balls of your foot pointing to the left, set the down block, and then as you pivot on the balls of your feet, execute. Then we step forward, set the right foot, balls of your foot, good. Left hand comes up, and punch with your right as you set your heel down. That is the execution. Then as you turn, in, legs close together, out the other side, we're gonna set on the balls of your foot, set the down block, and as we pivot, down block. Then step forward, balls of your foot, the left side this time, set the right arm, punch with left. Then we're gonna step forward, set, so we got our balls of our feet down, set the down block, and then execute both. Then punch. We don't have to move our lower body for the punch. Now from here, we're gonna set the right foot on the right hand side, set our left hand for the middle block, and then pivot. Then we're gonna step forward, balls of our foot down on the left side, set the right hand punch, then we're gonna put our feet close together, out the other side, balls of our feet, set the middle block and execute. Step forward, set the punch, execute. Then we're gonna turn, front stance, balls of our foot down, set the down block, execute, and punch. Then we're gonna turn, set for the high block, and execute. Then we're gonna kick, set for the kick as our hands come down, chamber, kick. Set for the punch by putting our balls of our feet on the ground. Left hand in front, right hand punching, execute. Then we bring our feet together and out the other side, balls of our foot on the ground, set the high block, execute. Then set for the kick, set for the punch, balls of our foot on the ground, and execute. Then we actually pre-turn this foot as we step forward, balls of our foot's down on the ground, 
get ready for the down block, execute, and then we step forward, punch, get set, hands on our belt, punch, ki up, and then paro. So let's practice setting. I'll pull my pants up a little bit. That way you guys can see the setting properly. And I'll lower the camera a bit too. Okay, so this time I'm only gonna say set and then execute. Let's do it together. Set, execute. 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 And paro. So I hope you guys have found this video useful. We want to make sure that we're setting properly. We want to make sure our stances are good. We want to make sure our blocks and our punches are good. We want to make sure the rhythm is good, the spacing is good. We want to make sure the power is there. We're twisting at the end. So if you guys can do all these things, put it all together, all 18 motions, whether you chunk it or not, follow the video. You guys are going to find your Pungse number one is already better. So train hard, and we'll see you guys on the mats.